Honorable Prime Minister condemns statements by opposition leader regarding government's citizenship by investment program on international media and the government invests $1 million in Dominica's youth through the Dominica Youth Business Trust. Thank you for joining us on National Focus. I'm Kodisha St. Louis. And I am Priska Julian. Stay with us for details of these and other stories after this. Child abuse is unacceptable. Child abuse is not cultural, it is criminal. And one child abuse is one too many. For more information on child abuse or to report suspected cases on child abuse, contact the Social Welfare Division on 33 Great Marlboro Street or call 266-3020 or 266-3080. Welcome back. Honorable Prime Minister Dr. Roosevelt Skerritt has condemned the statements made by opposition leader Lennox Linton about government's citizenship by investment program. Linton, who was a guest on CBS's 60 Minutes program on Sunday, spoke adversely about the CBI program, which has been a major source of government revenue and has financed major social and infrastructural programs and projects. The Dominica leader responded to Linton's criticism of the program on Wednesday following a media luncheon at the State House. Here it is. We have to condemn. Mr. Linton. And it's, this is not about politics. It's about the well-being of ourselves and our country. And every one of us must let him know at the appropriate time that we do not agree with him and his tactics and so forth. We have to look at this thing from an apolitical standpoint. This is not about Labour or UWV or the remnants of the Freedom Party. This is about Dominica. And if people were to take and to treat what was said by Mr. Linton on Sunday to be the truth, it can have and will have an impact on the way we conduct business in Dominica. It will have an impact on our tourism industry. It will have an impact on our financial system. And yes, we will certainly be responding to these to this, um, um, baseless and untrue allegations on the Sunday program. So we will provide the CBS with a response to them. So at least in their records, they will have a response to some of the unfortunate um, lies that were perpetuated um, on the Sunday program. The full statement by the Honorable Prime Minister will be aired immediately after the news. The Dominica Labour Party administration continues to invest heavily in developing the nation's youth, particularly by assisting them to realize their entrepreneurial potential. The Honorable Minister for Youth, Justina Charles, presented a check of $1 million to Chairperson of the Dominica Youth Business Trust, Josephine Deschaussetit, on Tuesday. At the handing over ceremony at the Windsor Park Stadium Conference Room, the Honorable Minister said the expectation is that this cash injection will address the issue of youth unemployment. The youth unemployment and its impact on the development of any country has become a growing global concern. This has caused the youth unemployment to be a regular feature on all agendas related to youth empowerment and youth mainstreaming. Promoting an entrepreneurial spirit and con conducive environment can definitely help in addressing the unemployment concern. The young people with all of their entrepreneurship ideas found it extremely difficult to start their businesses. And this probably has been so because of the constraints or the challenge that they encounter on a day to day to source finance for their businesses. And most of our young people who are engaged in those businesses uh, have been unemployed and do not have the collateral to assist them or to drive them into ensuring that they can start those small businesses. The Dominica Youth Business Trust, established in 2004, helps young people to establish sustainable small businesses by facilitating access to financing. The trust provides collateral of up to $20,000 to young people to secure loans for small business ventures. Not only does the trust assist with financing, but provides training and mentorship to beneficiaries to strengthen their business acumen and ensure their success. Very often, our young people uh, 
encouraging to businesses, but without the know-how, sometimes the businesses do not thrive. And we really, as a ministry, would like to ensure that when we make that facility available, the young people understand clearly their role in making that business sustainable. This is very important, or else the, our effort is going to be futile. Importantly, it has to be sustainable to take care of the young people, their families, and to make a positive contribution into the whole economy. Of the $1 million, $90,000 will go towards training, $48,000 will go towards supporting already established businesses needing assistance, $16,000 towards mentorship training, and $46,000 will go towards one-on-one -on -one consultancy for the entrepreneurs. $800,000 will go towards guaranteeing loans. Chairperson of the Dominica Youth Business Trust, Josephine Desha Tit, extended gratitude for the injection of funds and encouraged young people to put their resources to good use. This manifestation of your support is very encouraging. Please be assured that these funds will go a long way in strengthening the operations of the programs of the trust. Our appeal is that young entrepreneurs understand that such resources are challenging to obtain and as such must put to good and honest use the benefits of these funds for yourselves and your country. Having said this, on behalf of the Board of Trustees and staff of the DYBT, we commend the beneficiaries of the DYBT program who are making us proud based on their local, regional, and growing international impact. As one of its strategic objectives this year, the Board of Trustees and staff will give greater attention to beneficiaries who have been challenged in one way or another so that their business can be resuscitated. Since 2004, DYBT has trained 663 young entrepreneurs and there are currently 255 small businesses contributing to the economy as a result of the organization's intervention. The current loan portfolio of the trust is $2 million. These funds were made available through the Citizenship by Investment Program. Disaster Risk Management Consultant Cecil Schillingford has revealed that relocation of the fire victims of Silver Lake is progressing smoothly. Sixty individuals were left homeless after a raging fire consumed their homes on Boxing Day. Government responded quickly by providing $1,000 to the head of each household one day after the fire. GIS News spoke with Schillingford on Tuesday. There were a few challenges in terms of getting everybody to settle down, allocating space and what have you. Um, finally, uh, five families were allocated the resource center and the balance were put at the, at the school. The operations seem to be going very smoothly. The Office of Disaster Management and the local government department have been uh, doing some oversight, but the Bathurst State Disaster Committee under the chairmanship of Aaron Packett um, has been spearheading the day-to-day -day activity at the two centers. He noted that the fire victims are housed at the Bathurst State Resource Center and the Rosa Primary School. To enable Rosa Primary School students to return to their classes, victims may be relocated to other centers. The local government and the disaster management were talking earlier today about the possibilities if there are no rental properties available that um, the people in the school will have to be moved because school recommences on Monday. So um, everybody must be clear out of there by Monday. Um, the disaster office has looked at the facilities in Foncoli, that's the community center there, and one community center in Tarish Beat. And those are two excellent um, locations or facilities that have been upgraded over the years by the Office of Disaster Management. 
Schillingford says private homes are being sought to house fire victims. He says some homeowners have expressed interest in renting their homes. We'll continue to look for rental properties where they are available. Um, there is the guest house in the Coptal area. They have suggested that they may want to make their um, properties available and that will be looked at um, later today or early tomorrow and there are one or two other possibilities which we are exploring. So as far as rental properties um, and the fact that we want to ensure that school reopens on Monday and there's no um, holding back of the children from school, uh, that should be crystallized a little later this week. The disaster risk consultant divulged that the public's response has been great and is appealing to institutions to come on board to help this cause. We've received calls from the DIC as to what is required and they are soliciting from their members. Um, Ross University has called and they are putting together um, some sort of packages based on the request that was made. And the um, Harris Pins is making a very significant contribution um, of paints to paint the new building when it is um, erected. So they've made that commitment and um, we are still calling on other individuals and uh, um, companies and organizations uh, which may want to make a contribution that um, that is possible at any time. You're watching National Focus. More when we return. I had a bleeding disorder that I did not know about and they had to be transfusing me continuously. I got 56 units. Being there at the blood bank, I was like, yo, I'm actually saving someone's life. You never know when you can go. Give blood. I have done it and believe it or not, it don't hurt. I won't be scared. I'll give. <laughs> you know you're going to give blood. I'll make sure she does. Sit down at the blood bank in a comfortable environment for 45 minutes. Helping people. And you are stimulating your body to make brand new cells. You get free cookies, you get juice. Glad to know your blood group. Feels good. I felt as a better person. It's a good thing to be alive and I can thank God that I'm there and I'm enjoying life. Welcome back. The Office of Disaster Management, in collaboration with the Ministry of Education and the United States Office of Foreign Disaster Assistance, is conducting a three-day school safety course which got underway on Tuesday. Teachers are expected to convene at the Office of Disaster Management in Jimit for the course. GIS News spoke with Disaster Risk Consultant Cecil Schillingford. It's a three-day course. And uh, what we're trying to do is to mainstream disaster management into the education system. Uh, so we have several teachers. We have 15 teachers from schools around the island, and we also have one teacher from the D school at Ross University and a couple of staff from ODM doing the, the program. Schillingford informed that this program will be done in three phases. So, this is finished. The first week of March, they come back to do a training for instructors so that they can train their peers after a while because we do not want to always have to do it. And then the first week of April, they come back for an evaluation where they themselves will be presenting the material which is being presented to, the, to them, they will be presenting it to their peers and they will be evaluated on that. And then they can take the course and run with it into the education system. He believes that this will ensure the safety of students at schools. I think it uh, is a, a good way to start the year um, in that we are looking at making the conditions in our schools our children safer um, than they were last year. We're hoping that we can do what is necessary to make them safer. Um, as part of that too, the, the teachers will develop a disaster plan, a school disaster plan, 
and uh, we'll guide them through it and uh, we're hoping that that can be rec replicated in all the schools around Dominica. The workshop will conclude on a Thursday. Finally, this news time on Friday, Member of Parliament for the Collio constituency, Lady Catherine Daniel, handed over checks for the funding of social programs and projects in her constituency. These projects include a housing assistance program, road rehabilitation, fisheries and small business development. The MP gave a breakdown of the $150,000 check allocated for small businesses in the communities of Collio, Dubla, and Biosh. We have about the small business allocated about $75,000 to share for Collio, about $50,000 to share for B, um, Dubla, and about $24,000 to share for Biosh because of the number of businesses. Daniel also revealed the amount secured for the housing needs of constituents. For housing needs, it's in an amount of $18,922.87. That's just for two people. For Dubla, for housing needs, we have 80000 And for Coliho, for housing needs, we have 27226 and for Corley Hall, for another thing, small business needs, but not small business to buy goods and so on. Small business to help them, about five people, $12,000. The Honorable MP explained that funding for these programs was made available through Dominica's growing and reputable citizenship by investment program. One of the things we have as a government is the citizenship by investment program and it's because of this program we are here today to make this small donation to you all because though the program it's like in people investing in the country they have to pay a certain thing but they must do an investment so we get some funds out of that and instead of the funds just lying there this government has decided to inject the funds into situations or institutions that can develop themselves, like your small business, so that you have a livelihood. And that's the English news. McPherson St. Louis is next with the Creole highlights. Dating a minor is unacceptable. Having sex with a minor is unacceptable. For more information on child abuse or to report suspected cases on child abuse, contact the Social Welfare Division on 33 Great Marlborough Street or call 266-3020 or 266-3080. Hello, good moon. We have been here since Nouvelle and Creole, no more St. McPherson, St. Louis. Premièrement, l'Office des Arts Dominique a conduit course pour toucher l'école qui a concerné des arts qui peuvent être faites ainsi les croisés l'école. Si l'on consultant, l'Office des Arts, Cecil Schillingford, concerne la qui a été de teacher tout le monde c'est pour protéger les gens de l'école si en tous les cas on des arts faites. Jordi, premier jour de travail dans l'année, um, nous avons fait un, un training program, un course pour uh, teacher. Ever do to a lizard moon, mam this uh, office disaster, uh, school safety. Ever sa nuka try a see we pu see pies disaster, ever see ni a yen, um, a la kule call, a va wama, le call ki sa, um, blessi, um, zanfan le call, ever fe yo malade, ever bagay kon sa. Um, pour pour nous ni un plan pour dire la situation ça et pour même l'école ces teachers eux même ça garder contre ça fait ça so nous ni um, teacher hold tout un um, l'école dominique jodi des messages vers les lord jou um, à dans course si l'on monsieur Shillingford yo que conduit d'autres courses à l'année ça la même et après ça, en um, uh, uh, mois de mars, 
nous allons réunir pour un lot de semaines, les yoka yoka faire ça nous qui en training of trainers, um, workshop, um, même affaire, so yo même ça um, instruct um, dot teacher, et ben uh, avoué nous allons mener yo ensemble encore uh, pour yo gade pour nous ça faire un assessment à si yo pour comment bien yo faire avec moi moi quoi yo tout qui fait bien avec euh, nous que gade contre ça avec yo même ça pour programme là avec courir avec parce que ça ça nous voulait faire c'est assurer qui un programme ça en toute l'école dominique une nouvelle gouvernement dominique qui mettait attention à ce chimie qui bien dommagé en valélan Parole ça là, sorti en membre parlement honorable Dr. John Colin McIntyre. En délégation gouvernement visité Valley là, semaine passée. Pour organiser une classe qui crée la pluie, ça a été dit comme si les trois années qui passaient, quand c'est un état qui est ça, qui s'est battu. Et bien, il fait un lourd dommage à la compagnie. C'est un problème pour moi. C'est un problème pour moi. Ça me porte à la compagnie. Tout ce monde, moi, à l'autre valeur, pour mon patience. C'est pas fort, non. C'est pas la bonne vie, c'est pas la bonne vie, c'est pas la bonne vie. Et bien, nous avons eu un jeu ici, mais ça, nous avons commencé aujourd'hui. Il ne faut pas qu'il passe à ça. Nous avons eu un jeu en Valais, 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 nous avons passé là. C'est un bon petit peu de ça. Mais il ne faut pas qu'il passe à ça. Nous avons eu un jeu en Valais, nous avons passé là. Il y a un jeu en Valais, nous avons passé là. Il faut pas qu'il passe à ça. Nous avons réalisé un petit peu fort, nous, nous avons réalisé un petit peu fort, nous avons fait un petit peu nous avons fait un petit peu fort, nous avons fait un petit peu fort, nous avons fait un petit peu fort, nous avons fait un petit peu fort. Une qui a bâti Pont Neuf en Rousseau NSG, qui a fait parole pour gré à ce projet là. Sinon, on parole qui sorti, même si on a expérimenté ces difficultés et puis l'appeler, le travail continue un moment et puis on a gardé le vent, fini le projet là assez lent. Tout gros miroir est déjà bâti, gros bim supposé en place en janvier. Après ça, il y a eu des concrètes pour gré aussi pour en place à ce miroir Johnson Avenue. Il y a aussi qu'à bâti petit miroir pour brancher à ce pont neuf salan. L'œuvre progresse là, c'est testimony, dédication compagnie là, bâti projet là. Compagnie là qui a souhaité tout le monde bon compliment pour l'année neuf salan. Mais c'est mesdames, ça c'est tout pour nouvelle à Creole pour à présent. Non moins, c'est Mac Fossil Saint Louis. Qu'est-ce que tout le monde bonne année? Au revoir. Coming up next, your tip of the day. Since we're at the start of a new year, we'll share with you some tips for approaching the new year with a positive outlook. You can listen to the cynics and doubters and believe that success is impossible, or you can know that with faith and an optimistic attitude, all things are possible. When you wake up in the morning, you can fill in the blank to the following statement. My purpose today is... Each night before you go to bed, fill in the blank to the following statement. I am thankful for... You should always remember that adversity is not a dead end, but a detour to a better outcome. Focus on learning, loving, growing, and serving, and believe that everything happens for a reason. So expect good things to come out of challenging experiences. That's all for this edition of National Focus. We always welcome your suggestions and comments. Drop us an email at gis at dominica.gov.dm or visit our website, news.gov.dm. Like our Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash GIS News Dominica, and follow our Twitter at GIS Dominica. You can also catch up on a past National Focus newscast on our GIS Dominica YouTube channel. Live streaming is also available on our YouTube channel 24 hours a day. From all of us here on the GIS News production team, I am Prisca Julian. And I'm Kadisha Senthui. Thanks for watching and join us again next time on National Focus. Mm -hmm.